good morning class this is the second video continuation of the previous one okay where we were doing the laws of exponents we had done the first law that is when the same bases are multiplied the powers are added that is a raised to the power of m multiplied by a raised to the power of n will give us a raised to the power of m plus n okay I had asked you to give an example. So any example you could have written out here. The example that I'm going to give is simple example will be let's take 3 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 3. So 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. This is raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3. Is the same base that is being multiplied. How many times now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 3 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 3 will give you 3 raised to the power of 5. I can have another example also. For example, x raised to the power of 4 multiplied by x raised to the power of 2. Bases are same. The answer will be in that base using law 1. Since it is multiplication, bases are same. We are going to use law 1. So law 1 says, same bases, power and multiplied, powers are added. So 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is the answer using law 1 of exponents. Okay, right. In the same way now, this now you are going to write it in your classwork book. I had not rubbed it off because I wanted you to write it in your classwork book. Let's go on to the next law. Law number two. Now let us see what happens in law number two. Law number one, in law number one, remember, all the operations are changing, okay? Law one, the operation was multiplication. Now, law two, the operation will be division. In law two, the operation will be division. For example, if we are dividing, say, 5 raised to the power of 6 divided by 5 raised to the power of 5. Now, division can also be written in the form of a fraction. So, I can write 5 raised to the power of 6 as the numerator and divided by 5 raised to the power of 5. Let us expand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Upon 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, this is 6, and 5, right? So, it is 5, multi 5 multiplied by 5, 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 upon 5 raised to the power of 5. Now, if it is division, remember, same factors can be cancelled. So, I can cancel 5 ones, 5 ones. 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 What is left now? 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 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 Multiplied by 5 is 5. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 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 So upon 5. Upon 5 is the same as 5. Now, I got the power as, what is my power here now? Only a number means how many 5s are there? 1 5. How many 5s here? Only one five. If it is only one five, then the power is one. Here the power will be one. Okay. Now, if we don't usually write one, 
But if I write 1. Now look at your question. What was the base? Base was 5. Same bases were being divided. I got the answer also in the same base. 5 was the base here. 5 was the base. Divis dividend 5. Divisor 5. Quotient also 5. Base did not change. What changed? The power. I got 1 as the power. How did I get this 1? 6 minus 5. 1 can be 6 minus 5 is 1. Usually we don't write this 1. We just write it as 5 which means it is 1. So how do I get 1? 6 minus 5. So what did we do here? When the bases are same, operation is division. What did we do to the powers? We subtracted the powers to get the exponential form. So, law number 2. Law number 2 says that when same bases are divided, the powers are subtracted. When same bases are divided, powers are subtracted. What are we what is the main focus out here? Same bases, operation division. What happened to the powers? The powers were subtracted. What did we do to the powers? Powers were subtracted. This is law number two. In law number two, which operation will there be? division what do, do we what do we do to the powers we subtract when will we subtract the powers if the bases are same so if the bases when the bases are same when same bases are divided by divided the powers are subtracted i'll give you one more example let's take an example no in mathematical form when we express this we will express it as a raised to the power of m any base raised to any power is divided by the same base raised to another power then the answer will be a raised to the power of m minus n when m is greater than n. If when m is greater than n, then we'll get m minus n. Okay? What happens when m is less than n? You will learn it in form 8. Not now. Right. So what is the second, uh, second law say? Bases are same. Operation is division. What are we going to do with the powers? We are going to subtract the powers. Okay. Example. Let's take an example. No, let's just take a letter only. A raised to the power of 5 divided by A raised to the power of 3. This can be written as a raised to the power of 5 upon A raised to the power of 3. This is only showing you how we can do it straight away also. A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 upon 1, 2, 3. Cancel this, cancel this, cancel this. How many A's are left? A multiplied by A. A multiplied by A is A raised to the power of 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. Bases are same. That is one way of doing it. Or you could have done it straight away. A raised to the power of let me take another example. X raised to the power of 
x raised to the power of 7 divided by x raised to the power of 4. Bases are same, so answer will be in that base, that is x. Operation is division, so what do we do to the powers? Subtract it. 7 minus 4 is 3. You can write it here also, 7 minus 4, therefore x is equal to x raised to the power of 3 will be the answer. This is law number 2. So law number 1 deals with same basis, multiplication, add the powers. Law number 2 deals with same basis, division, subtract the powers. Remember this, you will be able to do any of the sums in this. Right, next one. Right, let's take another example. This is for law number 3. But before we come to that, supposing I have 2 raised to the power of 3 is again raised to the power of, say, 5. Okay, for this exponent, for exponent 5, the base is 2 raised to the power of 3. For exponent 5, what is the base? 2 raised to the power of 3. Okay. Here, exponent is 5. So, base will be 2 raised to the power of 3. So, 2 raised to the power of 3 is multiplied how many times? 5 times. 2 raised to the power of 3. 2 raised to the power of 3. 2 raised to the power of 3. 2 raised to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of 3. Now each 2, now for this 2, for base 2, power is 3. Base 2, power is 3. So 1, 2, 3. For this also, 1, 2, 3. For this one, 1, 2, 3. For this one, 1, 2, 3. For this one, 1, 2, 3. All the bases are same. If all the bases are same, I can put it in that base only. Now what do I do? I count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What did I get? How many 2's are there multiplied? 15 2's are multiplied. So, what happened to the base? In this, what was the base? Base was 2. What is the base in your answer? Answer also the base is 2. Okay. So base, one base here 2. Answer also one base 2. There were two powers. One was 3 and one was 5. In my answer, I got only one power, 15. Now, how do I get 15 from here? From the powers. What is the power? 3 multiplied by 5. 3 multiplied by 5 will give me 15. What will it give me? 15. So if one base, the base here is only 1, is raised to many powers. Here I've got 2 powers only. It can be 3, it can be 4. If one base is raised to many powers, then the answer will be in that base only. Base will not change. What happens to the power? We will multiply the powers. The powers are multiplied. Okay. So, that will give you law number 3. Law 3. What does law 3 state? Law 3 says that when 
one base is raised to multiple powers multiple powers means many powers then the powers are multiplied what do we multiply the powers now how many bases will there be in your question only one base this one base is raised to multiple powers what does multiple mean out here many more than one more than one power okay if it is raised to more than one power then what do we do to the powers the powers are multiplied what is done to the powers the powers are multiplied this is law number three example all this you are writing it in your class workbook example 5a raised to the power of 3 is i won't take 5a because then the multiplication becomes too big i will not do that okay i'll just give you a simple example okay 5a raised to the power of 3 is again raised to the power of 4. What is your base out here? 5a. Only one base. One term only. So your base will be that only. 5a will be the base. More than one power. Multiply the powers. 4 threes are 12. So your answer is 5a raised to the power of 12. x raised to the power of 3 let's not take 3 now let's take 5 raised to the power of 6 this will give you x is the base powers are multiplied 6 5s are 30 so answer will be x raised to the power of 30 okay when do we do this when we have how many bases one base and how many powers more than one power so what do we do to the answer? Answer will be in that base. But the powers are multiplied. Powers will be multiplied. That is law number 3. Now we go on to the next law. That is law number 4. Now, it's not necessary that every time you get a sum, the bases have to be same. Okay? Every time you get, there's only one base raised to different powers. It may be that the bases are different. Like, let's take 2 raised to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 3. Here the bases are not same, okay, but the powers are same. Bases are not same, powers are same. Let's see what happens. I get 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Now I can take these as pairs, 2 and 3 as one pair, so 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by another pair 2 and 3 so 2 multiplied by 3 and another pair 2 and 3 so multiplied by 2 multi upon 2 multiplied by 3 what is this 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6 what do i get 6 raised to the power of 3 now see what happened bases were different in the answer also the base is different okay base is different i got six 
How do I get 6 from this? I multiplied 2 with 3. What did I do out here? I multiplied 2 with 3. Right in the previous one, I forgot to give you write this. So you will write this after you write the definition of the previous one. Okay. Then I continue in this. I forgot to give you this. If A is the base raised to the power of M is again raised to the power of N, then the answer will be in that base, the powers are multiplied. Don't forget to write this in your previous answer, in your previous, in law number three. Okay. Don't forget to put this in law number three. I just forgot that. Remembered it. So I'm giving it to you. Right. In this, what I got? Six. How do I get? Two multiplied by three. Two and three are the bases. So I multiplied the bases. What power I got? Three. Has the power changed? Here also the powers are three. Here also the power is three. So if different bases are multiplied, but the powers are same. Now what is same out here? Powers. Powers are same. Then how do I get the answer? Answer will be in the same power. The bases are multiplied. The bases are multiplied. Now let us see what happens when it is divided. Let's take different bases, okay? 10 raised to the power of 5 divided by 5 raised to the power of 5. 10 raised to the power of 5 divided by 5 raised to the power of this can be written as 10 raised to the power of 5 upon 5 raised to the power of 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 upon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. 5 ones, 5 twos. 5 ones, 5 twos. 5 ones, 5 twos. 5 ones, 5 twos. Now I got all 2. How many 2's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bases are different. Answer also the base is different. Powers are same. Power is same here. What has happened to the bases? You have, how do I get 2? 2 I get by 10 divided by 5. So what did I do out here? I divided the bases. The power remains the same. Bases are divided. This is law number four. This will be law number four. Law what happens in law 4? When different bases having the same power are multiplied or divided. Here it will come for both. Okay. Multiplied or divided. Then. The. Bases. Will be. Multiplied. Or divided. Powers will remain same. Okay. Slight change in what you were doing previously. Now what it is? Different bases. But same powers. Having the same power. Bases are different. Powers are same. They are either multiplied or divided. 
then what do we do? We multiply or divide the bases. The bases are either multiplied if it is multiplication or the bases are divided if it is division. What happens to the powers? Powers remain the same. In other words, we can write it as a raised to the power of m multiplied by a, sorry, b raised to the power of m, the answer will be a multiplied by b raised to the power of m or a raised to the power of m divided by b raised to the power of m, bases are different, powers are same. Then A will be divided by B, power will remain the same. So this will be law number 4. <coughs> you can write any example for it. Okay. Now the last law, very quickly I'll just go on to the last law. That is law number 5. Now, let us take a number, say, 5 raised to the power of 5 divided by 5 raised to the power of 5. Now, if I use, what is this division? If I use law 2, law 2 says bases are same, they are divided, subtract the powers. Now, if I'm using law 2, I will get 5 raised to the power of 0. Why? 5 minus 5 is 0. Bases are same. Bases are same. Powers are different. Okay? Uh, sorry. Powers are also same here. Bases are same. They are divided. Subtract the powers. <coughs> now, when I subtract the powers, what am I getting? 0, 5 raised to the power of 0. Now, if I use, because here the powers are same, if I use law number 4, what do I do? They are divided, so I will divide the base. I will divide the base. So, if I divide the base, what will I get? 5 raised to the power of 5 divided by 5 raised to the power of 5. Using law 4, we are dividing the base. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1 raised to the power of 5. 1 raised to any power. 1, if it is raised to any power, what will be the answer? 1. Okay. Now, what do we see here? Are the question different here? Question is same. 5 raised to the power of 5 divided by 5 raised to the power of 5. If I use law 2, I'm getting 5 raised to the power of 0. Now, if I use law 4, I'm getting 1 as the answer. That means what? If the bases are same, the powers are also same, they are divided, I will get either 5 raised to the power of 0 or I will get 1. Both the answers are same. So, 5 raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay, now let me give you another example. X raised to the power of 7 divided by X raised to the power of 7 will give me what? X raised to the power of 0 using law 2. If I use law 4, X raised to the power of 7 divided by X raised to the power of 7 I will get x divided by x is 1 raised to the power of 7. If 1 is raised to the power of 7, answer is 1. Now, what number I had used out here? x raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Now, this is law number 5. Any number, any base. Here I've got base 5. Here I've got base x. Okay, base can be any base. If any base is raised to the power of 0, okay, law number 
five six. Any base raised to the power zero. Power is zero. Okay. Then the answer is always one. The answer is always one. For example, you can write it as 75 raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 4 x y z raised to the power of 0 answer is 1. 1000 raised to the power of 0 answer is 1. Any base raised to the power of 0 is 1. So A raised to the power of 0 is 1. That is law number 5. Write all the laws in your classwork book properly. All the definitions, everything. Write it in your classwork book. In the next class, we will start on with the exercises on laws of exponents. Goodbye and have a nice day.